Hi everyone, this is Dee with Dee's Divine Tarot 411 and tonight we're going to go ahead and get your Celtic Cross reading going for the sign of Aries. So Aries, I already shuffled, I'm fixing the light here, I already shuffled and spoke with Spirit about your reading for clarity, insight, and guidance. So we're just going to jump right on in and also shuffled if I didn't say that. Your first card right out the gate. The Five of Swords. Wow. Let me show you what's at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> so you got a Five of Swords and a Seven of Swords. This is your card, your fortune card. This was at the bottom of the deck. But what's underneath the bottom of the deck, we'll talk about after, later. But yeah, right out the back, the Five and the Seven of Swords. So this is someone charging in, you know really aggressive very directly they're not holding any qualms it looks like you could be chasing after this deceitful one who's been caught it's like he did something he's trying to sneak away but looks like he's he's being seen <laughs> especially by this night so maybe this is you or maybe this is the same person oh the cat's up here um but all in all we'll get more clarity right out the gate y'all bottom of the deck and first card pull watch out baby you can't sit up here i'm doing a reading here we go again y'all it's been a little while thank you baby i need you to move your tail too all right she's right here all right next card we got is a king of cups so either this is you or you're about to meet a king of cups or you'll be around a king of cups and maybe that's what this is like someone very direct coming in with their emotions and love uh, but this is like a warrior coming in against this dude this uh shyster so we'll get more clarity as we go along aries but yeah we got uh some swords and we got some cups now the king of cups so this one is a master of his emotions, this one here. And he can go from basically, you know, depression to, you know, you know, it's what, what's the whole, you go all the way up from depression, sadness, like despair, turmoil, all those uh, feelings. And then you go from there to, what you doing, baby? Like, uh, anger and then from anger to frustration and then frustration to hope and then from hope to you know feeling back good and being okay and then you can go back to joy so it's a progression you don't just do it like and snap your fingers you have to really take your time and you know basically go through your emotions the emotional will this is someone who's emotionally intelligent so this is how you want to, you know, react to your situations and circumstances. Let me move her. She loves to be on camera. Okay, so <laughs> they kind of got the same colors on. <laughs> you see that? So we'll get more clarity as we keep moving along. But you got a shyster, a knight, and a king. Okay, so next card we got is swords and cups. Now we got Pentacles. So this is Aries, uh, the Knight of Cups. So this is someone coming in with an offer for you. And it could be a date. This could be uh, this knight coming in, but it's actually a king offering you this date. Baby, you, what are you doing? You got to make your mind up where you're going. You got to get down. Okay. Get your tail out the way, baby. Come on now. Okay. Yeah, eat your food. Okay, so this is a date. It looks like coming in or an offer of value, something that you want to, you know, definitely look at. You don't want to turn your nose up at it, but it could be offered from this king coming in from this night. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You got some opportunity coming in. There's a king around you. So we'll get more clarity. Next card we got. Wow, the Ten of Cups. Well, this offer is going to lead you to the We Did It card, the best We Did It card in the deck. This is basically what uh, Truthwell Tarot, uh, 
her uh she's a, like a tarot reader one of the best like on youtube she came up with the daily reads and the whole nine she comes up with all these different concepts and she uh calls this the rainbow of blessings so <laughs> she's not lying when i get this card that's what this really does feel like and i'll show you what's at the bottom of the deck because it goes right along with it <laughs> the lover's card you falling in love with yourself, marrying your divine masculine and divine feeling, uh, feminine to become whole. And then you can bring in a new lover. Spirit can bring in uh, a love mate, a, a soulmate for you. It looks like that's what's going to happen and you're going to live happily ever after. Guess what's after this, y'all? Goodness gracious. These are your bottom of the cards, bottom of the deck cards. Lovers 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 which is probably one of the best cards of the deck that i feel and this is like the world this is the world this is like everything this is the completion card from zero to the superhero and then you also have the best life ever yo you cannot beat this on any given sunday <laughs> any given day this is what we are all striving for this is what we all want is the best life ever this pretty much completes your reading we can stop the reading right now and just say hey this is it this is where you're going this is what spirit has for you and this is what you deserve Go right ahead, Aries. It's so, so beautiful. And it looks like it's going to be after a time of dealing with this dude. You had to get this dude out of Dodge. <laughs> Go ahead, Aries. Get him out of Dodge. Next card we got. Ooh, this is spiritually blessed all the way live by the creator. Here's your spiritual lift. Super, uh, super... <laughs> spiritual lift super uber ride so god is coming with his spiritual uber to take you where you're going next and where are you going next you're going to the world with your lover it's an offer coming in from this king he's gonna give you the whole wide world the best life ever and it's spiritually blessed go ahead aries all right next card we got Whoa, King of Cups, uh, Queen of Cups. Why? Oh, you got the King of Cups. Holy smokes. This is a match made in heaven. This is uh, the couple that's supposed to be together. They say the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Wands is the life of the party. I also feel like they are too because they can joke with you. They're all about sharing their emotions, making you laugh giving you love, nurturing, caring. They're going to make sure you feel welcome. The whole nine, they both are very emotionally intelligent. And if she sometimes has the issue of giving everything for everybody, her king and everyone except for herself, well, this king won't let that happen. He's a king of his emotions, so he's going to make sure she's balanced. He's going to remind her, baby, take a rest. I'll do this. I'll do the rest. I'll do the dishes. I'll do whatever needs to be done. You take a rest for yourself. This is the kind of king that is. So you're about to have the best kind of man, the best kind of king. And this is going to be one of the best relationships that you've ever experienced in your life. This is why you're seeing the world with these two. <laughs> This is a match made in heaven, y'all. This is destiny. And it's spiritually blessed for the king and the queen. Holy smokes. Look at this, y'all. You got the king. The queen. The king. <laughs> well, hold up, y'all. This is just so much. Just these two alone. These are major arcana. And then you got the finish line card. This is the same to me. The world card. And then you got your lover. You're the king. She's the queen. Spiritually blessed. Going to get there fast in your spiritual Uber by God. Offer coming in. You're leaving this fool behind. You chased him away to go get the life you deserve. Wow. Next six cards you got. And this is immediate future. 
Wow. So this is the five of pentacles. This was the relationship you were in. This is what you're leaving behind. This is like all the problems were caused. This dude caused all of this, all this pain, all these problems. And you kept trying to stay with him and be there for him. And, you know, he was doing all this like sneak attack stuff and you were buying it or at least trying to give an ear to it, knowing that he was doing wrong. You still like gave your all to this dude that is doing shysty stuff and you were trying to get him on the right direction and steer him. But we can't look words don't teach. Let me tell you all this. My queen taught me this uh, like. <laughs> words don't teach you can tell somebody something until you're blue in the face your actions are what let someone know you're serious or not so you can say you know things over and over and over and think you're gonna get a change from someone they're not gonna change this is about action and this person's actions are foul they've caused this this is why this relationship has come to this point. It's because it's a broken relationship and he broke it. So, you know, a lot of times we got to learn our own worth through these relationships. They're catalysts for us to become greater and get our true love. And this is exactly what you're going to get. You're learning your worth. You're a beautiful queen. You're a beautiful king. And you both deserve each other. And this is true love at its finest. These colors match. <laughs> and this is so beautiful. Look at that, y'all. Happily ever after. Your whole world is blessed by the divine. All right. Next card we got. This is home environment. Whoa. You're very magical. This relationship's going to be very magical. This is the superhero magical uh, power of the deck. Also, if you get the ace of... Uh, swords that would be too but this is like super magic you got the master magic master of magic the magician but then you go to another level and this is like master magician level and so i just feel like you're like very very dynamic very powerful be careful you could get pregnant with this uh this one because it's like it's super powerful it's like uh who says that michelle knight she was the first tarot reader i ever listened to my queen introduced me to tarot and she said for kindness so be careful y'all you can't get pregnant with this uh <laughs> this one so you're very magical very dynamic you can do things others can't in this energy and it looks like you're bringing in calling in the whole world a king a queen and a life we all could like dream of a, a life we're all dreaming of okay next card we got the nine of pentacles this is your hopes and fears card so this is you living in your lap of luxury in your garden of abundance you use your magical wand to get there and feel rich abundant like you're very grateful you're very thankful but you've earned it all you're a beautiful queen you got a beautiful king coming in. You got the world coming in. You got the whole world. Y'all gonna live it up. You're about to find out what true love really is all about. Good for you, Aries. Next card we got is a page of cups. So this is definitely an offer of love coming in. We had the pinnacle, so uh, the knight of pinnacle. So this could be the date you guys are gonna go on. So it's coming in as an offer of love. This could be also a king or the queen's daughter or son. Uh, but this is an offer of love and value. And it looks like this is going to be how you feel in this relationship. Sorry, uh, Kitty, you can't block up the camera. So this is where you're going in your spiritual super lift Uber real soon with the divine. God is going to take it there. Divine timing and all. Okay. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Next two cards. Last two cards. Outcome. <laughs> How magical. You are super magical. You're pulling in all these major arcana cards. It's just so super beautiful. You got the ace of magic, the master magician, 
You got the spiritual height of magic right now. You're very creative, very dynamic, divine timing for love. Wow, the king. Wow, the queen. Holy smokes. The best life ever. The we did it card, which is the whole wide world is what the creator is bringing you. How you gonna get there? What's the last card? I already saw it. The Eight of Pentacles. Spiritual work, physical, mental work that you needed to do to break free from this dude. You did your work to get out of this horrible relationship and you turned your back on it and then you blessed yourself and got away from this dude. You chased him right out of your life. Chase this out of your life. You had enough. You confronted it. You're done. And now <laughs> you can have the life you were always meant to have, Aries. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> wow. Congratulations. I love y'all. What a blessed, beautiful reading. I hope y'all enjoyed it. This is D with D's Divine Tarot, 411. Blessings, blissfulness, peace and love. Bye, y'all.